Hi, my name is Jenny Martin and I'm part of the 14th cohort of the Data School at the Information Lab and I'm also one of the Dr Preppers for Prep and Data, which is a weekly challenge site for you to improve your prep skills. Today we're going to be talking about connecting to TabPy in Tableau Prep and luckily I've got some great blogs to share with you from colleagues of mine at the Information Lab, so they'll be a great help to us going forwards in how to set up a TabPy server on our local machine and then run a script to generate some extra rows of data. So uh, let's take a look at um, creating that TabPy server first of all. Um, so if we come to this first blog from a colleague of mine called Alex, then this is connecting to TabPy on your machine. So first of all we want to install Anaconda. So once we've downloaded this then we get all sorts of helpful um, sort of ways to use Python. Um, but in order to download the TabPy server, we are going to be using the Anaconda prompt. So that's kind of almost like a command line. Um, if you've ever used anything like that before, then it looks quite similar. And what we're going to do first of all is we're going to use this um, pip install TabPy functionality to install our TabPy. So that we just hit enter on that and it runs all through. Um, now I've already installed it once before, so um, you can see that it's requirement already satisfied for most of those uh, things there, but for yours, it will kind of create more like what it looks like in the actual blog itself. So please do refer to that. And then all we need to do to start our tabs pi server running is just write the word tab pi and hit enter. And then you can see that it's kind of showing in my local machine where it's running and it's running basically. So now let's head over to Tabo Prep and connect to that server. So I'll talk more about the data that we're using in a minute, but for now we're just going to add on that script tool. We're going to select TabPy or Tableau Python server and from 2020.3 20, onwards um, you go up into the help settings and performance manage analytics extension connection in order to set up um, the local host server or any type of server connection but um, in earlier versions of tableau prep from 2019.3 onwards then you uh, there will be sort of a button here that tells you click there to connect to the server but for now we're going to click there and you see that our select and analytics extension is on tabpy server we just want to write localhost and port 9004 and that's kind of like just a default on your local machine that's what port it will use and that's how you connect so you just hit sign in and it signs in for us brilliant so now i'm going to talk a little bit about another blog um, from the information lab from my colleague brian scally and he's written a way to generate some extra rows with tabpy in tableau prep so we'll have a you can download um, the data set you can download the python script you can download all of that from his blog so be sure to look in the description if you're interested in that um, but this will just be really helpful for us for um, actually sort of configuring it so what we've got here is we've got some um, data about invoices and we've created this calculation in Tableau Prep for the date difference in months between the invoice start and end and what we want to do is we want to have a line for each month. So we could do this a number of different ways but we're using a Python script for this particular use case. So we browse to find our Python script, I've downloaded it from Brian's blog and it's just sitting here we can see it's a .py file so I open that up and then I paste in the function name it's generate rows prep because you could have multiple functions within your Python script so you need to tell Tableau prep which function it should apply and you can see nice and quickly it's gone away and it we now have 147 rows where as before we had 10 rows so it's gone ahead and it's created that line for us for each um, different month for, between the start and the end of the invoicing period so that's really nice and quick really worked really well for us and I hope that that showed 
the usefulness of connecting to TabPy and also uh, how to do it. So please do check out those blogs. If anything was unclear, feel free to reach out to any of us. So thank you very much for watching. Please do go back and check out the video on connecting to R from Tableau Prep and stay tuned for the video on publishing workflows to Tableau Server through Tableau Prep. And finally, make sure you subscribe to the channel for more great videos. Thanks for watching.